for the hour. In today's Positively Georgia segment, they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Well, I found a group of lovely ladies in Atlanta who are working to make sure that young girls can see someone beautiful when they look in the mirror. They certainly turn heads when they walk into a room, and it is by design the black dolls want to leave an impression. What better way to reach a child and get her attention than to show up looking like a living doll, and then when you leave, after you've reminded her in every way that she's beautiful, to leave her with a doll. The ladies of the black doll affair were inspired by this, the black doll test. It's a social experiment to determine the perceptions of African-American children. It was originally done in the 50s to help make the case for desegregation. And when it was redone a few years ago, the outcome was the same. Most of the kids picked the white doll as the one they wanted to play with and liked best, but considered the black doll bad. It's so important that we counteract um, the messages that are sent every single day when they turn on the television or when they're driving down the street and seeing those billboards that, hey, you're gorgeous, no matter what mainstream America is telling you what the, their version of gorgeous and beautiful is. We are here 365 days a year uh, being pretty philanthropic, which is the Black Doll Affair slogan. And if you don't remember anything about the Black Doll Affair, remember that we are community role models and our mission is to remind a black girl of her beauty through living dolls and a toy black doll. Now, I added a link to the Black Doll Affair and put it on the Positively Georgia page. You can find it on our website at cbsatlanta.com. Just look under web links on the right side of the page. Now, if you know someone who's having a positive impact on the community, tell us their story. We have a nomination for on that Positively Georgia page at cbsatlanta.com. Or you can send us an email to positivelygeorgia at cbsatlanta.com.